Welcome back, everybody. It goes without being said, we need to stockpile food, obviously. And diversification is the key, all kinds of different foods. But canned food is fantastic. And there's so many reasons why. I came across this really amazing article and stick through this. It talks about the myths and the truth about canned food. And you want to make sure you stick through this because it's going to help you in your stockpiles drastically. So 11 canned food myths you've probably fallen for at some point. Oh, there's a lot of them, by the way. Myth number one, canned food has no nutritional value. I hear this one all the time. The truth is, when we see canned food and actually test it after it's been in the can compared to fresh produce, the nutritional value is almost the same. I'm not kidding you. So canned food is fantastic with its nutritional vitamins and minerals and such. Myth number two, canned foods are always high in sodium. And that's true too. But I'll say it again. This whole thinking that sodium is bad for you is a load of horse manure. We have to have sodium. We have to have electrolytes. And sure, there are some canned foods that are extra high in sodium. That's true. Maybe you want to look out for that. It's up to you. But sodium is not really the bad thing, the bad culprit that people always think it is. Myth number three, buying canned food is inherently wasteful. And of course, we're talking about prepping and preparedness and having some type of recycling program. It's always good, obviously. We want to take care of the environment, but that's not true at all. You can recycle it, but even more so, you can dispose of it pretty easily. You know, like for example, let's say there's no more garbage pickup because crap hits the fan. Just bury the cans and be good to go. It's metal. It'll eventually rust and deteriorate and become part of the earth. The next myth, canned foods have harmful chemicals in them. And I understand where this myth came from because they used to. There used to be all kinds of nasty stuff in there, but almost all canned foods have gone away with those chemicals now and have a lot more natural stuff in there, which is not going to harm the body. In fact, some of it's actually even good for you. The next myth, canned foods are never used by chefs. I don't know. How about you? I'm not a chef, but I have heard some chefs use canned food. At least Chef Boy RD does. The next myth, canned foods stay fresh forever. Oh, dangerous territory here. And with this, fresh is the key word. Canned foods in the cells, as long as the can's integrity is maintained, there's no rusting through, there's no dents, nothing along the seams ripped, etc. They will stay edible forever. How about that? Edible forever. And it may be 20 years down the road when the apocalypse happened and you and Mad Max are sitting down having a canned beef, corned beef hash. It may not be the tastiest. It may not be the most nutritional, but it will not kill you. It'll still be good for you per se, and you're getting the proteins and stuff you need. Next myth, canned foods are crammed with preservatives. And although there are some cans that are loaded with preservatives, like things like, you know, like Spam or maybe Vienna sausages, but most canned foods, by the way, are just the food, sometimes water and a little bit of sodium added. So most of them, no preservatives at all. Next myth, you should never use dented cans. And I'll be honest with you, this can right here, you do not want to eat this one. Sure, if you just dented the can like that, go ahead and eat it. But you don't want that can to go back on the shelf. Dents and cans aren't a problem as long as they're nice, smooth dents. Any like really crinkle, rippling dents are bad. And also any type of dents along the seams and top and bottom are bad. But just regular small little dents in that, as long as they're neck next to the seams, are okay. Next myth, putting open canned food in the fridge is dangerous. That's not true at all. Next myth, canned food is low quality. Eh, I'll be honest with you, sometimes it depends on the canned food. But it's inexpensive. It's already sealed. It's already canned. It's already ready to go for the apocalypse. And you know what? 20 years down in the apocalypse, when you're having that with Mad Max, you're not going to complain about the quality. He was eating dog food. You know what I'm saying? And then final myth, store-bought canned food is always safe to eat. And what they're getting at is simply put the bacterium botulism. Botulism, completely odorless. You, you don't know what's in there. What they produce in the can correctly and you know basically prepare the food, and it's become sterile inside the can. There's no botulism in there. I will be honest with you, extremely, extremely rarely, we're talking about once every few years, they'll find one batch of cans that may have actually gotten botulism in it. Obviously, you don't want that. It could be deadly. But honestly, most canned foods, almost almost all canned foods are really good as far as lasting a long time, and they're not going to have botulism in it. The cases of having botulism is exceedingly, exceedingly rare. All right, anyways, I always say to stockpile, we love to freeze dry, dehydrate. We can our own food. We have you know, we have rice and potatoes and we have beans. We have lots of stuff, but I love canned food. Canned food's fantastic. It's inexpensive. It's already canned, you know, ready to go as far as in a sterile container. Will last years and years and years. So I always recommend get lots of canned food, guys. Get, get rid of the myths and everything. It really is a perfect thing for preppers to stockpile. Thanks for watching.